of times when we talk about baptism, we focus on the gospel side of it. We focus on the baptism now saves you. We focus on how good this is that Christ washes us and forgives our sins, brings us into his family, adopts us, makes us citizens of his kingdom, all those different ways that it gets talked about. But sometimes we forget the other side of what baptism is. We remember the gospel side, but we forget that it is a call to live as citizens of Christ's kingdom, as children of our heavenly father, as slaves of our God who has made us his own. And this is exactly what Paul talks about, where we talk about Romans chapter 6 and about being buried with Christ in his death and being raised again in his resurrection. But what does Paul say? Paul says that now that we have been raised, we live in this new life. We walk in this new way. He's in the middle of saying, so because you're saved, should you continue to sin? Of course not, by no means. Instead, you were buried with Christ in his death, and you are raised with him in his new life, so walk in that new life. It's an admonishment to live as Christ has called us to live. It's not just a statement of God's goodness in washing us. So I'm not saying that baptism is law. Baptism is a very wonderful gospel proclamation of God's washing and making us his own. But it is also this reminder that you are new, that you are not bound to sin, but you now have the Holy Spirit. You now walk in the newness of Christ, and yet you still fall, you still trip. You still have that old man, that old sinful nature in you desiring to do what it ought not to do. But isn't this what we say in the, in the catechism? In the fourth part, it says, what does such baptism with baptizing with water indicate? It indicates that the old Adam in us should by daily contrition and repentance, so acknowledging that we're sinful and realizing that and turning from it, repentance, be drowned and die with all sins and evil desires, so, and that a new man should daily emerge and rise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. Where is this written? Well, St. Paul writes to Romans in chapter 6. Hey, we were just talking about that. We were therefore, therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And so when we talk about baptism, we talk about the hope of being raised up on the last day eternally in the resurrection. But right now, we remember that we are baptized into Christ, that his name is put on us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We remember that we live out that baptism, and by living out our baptism faithfully, we think of the second commandment, right? To honor God's name. We think about the, uh, the petition in the Lord's Prayer about keeping his name holy, that we would teach rightly, and we would live rightly with him. And so when you think about your baptism, remember God's goodness to you and washing you and forgiving you, but we also remember that we live in repentance and faith, looking to Christ for all that we need. God be praised. So go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.